Good morning, everyone, and welcome to my driveway. All right, here we are this morning. We're looking at panels tilted up to the sun because we're going to talk about panel angle and how it affects production. And then after we get done talking about that, we're going to talk about wire size and how that affects production. But as you can see this morning, the sun is nice and low on the horizon, about 8.30ish. And we've got the panels pointed right up there where they're supposed to be pointing right at the sun. And current output is 7.4 amps. Now, we take away this one and lay the panels back to what I consider to be an afternoon angle. And that is definitely afternoon, probably a little bit farther back. Look at there. Production goes down to 7.1. Now we're going to leave it at this angle for now, and we're going to do some other tests here on the wire size. So let's talk about that. All right, what I got assembled down here is a single, this one here is a single 3-foot 12-gauge extension cord. This yellow one here is a 15-foot 12-gauge extension cord. This orange one here is a 25-foot 16-gauge extension cord. This orange one here is a 50-foot 12-gauge extension cord. And this one here is a 50-foot 16-gauge extension cord. Now, the shorter cords uh, I threw in there just so you can see that it actually does make a difference. The two longer cords here, the 50-footers, 12-gauge uh, and 16-gauge, you're going to see a serious difference between the two. Uh, and you should correlate that to the length of the run that you have from your panels to your charge controller. Uh, it, it's going to make a difference. Wire size is important, and I'm going to show you right here, right now. All right, so we're going to do them in this order. We're going to go 3-foot. We're going to go size-wise. 3-foot, 12-gauge, 15-foot, 12-gauge. 25 foot 16 gauge, 50 foot 12 gauge, and 50 foot 16 gauge. We're going to do them in that order. So production currently is 7.1 amps. Get this so it'll stay. All right, so I'm going to cut power. Put in the three footer. Turn her back on. Takes a second for it to register and get going again. Three footer says 7.4 amps. So we didn't lose anything actually. Oh, there we go. She came back down to 7.1 amps. So we didn't lose anything. We didn't gain anything. Three foot, 12 gauge, no problem. All right, off. On 15 foot 12 gauge. Obviously, no loss on the 15 footer either. Now, it might have kicked up a little bit because obviously the sun is rising every second we're out here, but we'll consider 7.1, 7.2 to be the baseline. And right now, uh, the 15 foot 12 gauge didn't change things. There's off. And on, coming up here. Now this is the 25 foot 16 gauge cord. On. Looky there. Cost you a little bit, didn't it? All right, so let's move to the 50 footer 12 gauge. Off. On. Let's see what we get. 6.2. So, yes, the losses continue to mount. Now that's a 50 foot 12 gauge cord. And now. You're going to be really surprised in the difference here. Now, look, it's coming back a little bit, but it still cost you. But actually, not too bad. This is the one where you'll notice the difference, the big difference. All right, she's plugged in and on. That is 50 foot, 16 gauge. And looky there, 
it really costs you. Wire size really does make a difference. Now let's go back to the 50 foot 12 gauge. Let that sit for a second here. Yeah, it looks like it's settled at 5.8. Now let's go for the back to the big one. Look at that. That is a big difference between the two. And we'll go back to just straight panel, no extension cord, so you can see what the loss is at this exact second. We'll give this five more seconds here just to make sure it doesn't jump around. Solid 6.7. Off. And that there is straight panel. So yes, wire size does make a difference. If you're wondering how we're testing all this, we're testing all this on my homemade power station. Uh, at the end here, we'll have a little thing up in the corner. You can click on that if you wanna see a little bit about this. And as you can see, that is straight into the power station from the solar panel. So yes, wire size, panel angle definitely make a difference. Have a good day, everybody, and a better tomorrow. I'll see you.